Today is Beauty Empties, but before we get into that, I just wanted to get into what I got today. Okay, as you know, I am on a Bob series. Beauty's on a budget. I'm trying to spend less than I use or use more than I spend, however you want to word it. Today, I got a gift. It wasn't technically a gift. It was a confusion in ordering. And I had already been refunded for this. And then I got it UPS all of a sudden, weeks late. And I contacted them and they're like, uh, it's okay, just keep it. It's the Kirkland makeup wipes or daily facial towelettes. There's four like regular type packs of wipes in there and there's two or no there's four smaller yeah four smaller wipes so it's 180 makeup wipes I I don't use these on an everyday basis I use them basically when I'm lazy when there's an incidence and I need to remove just a part of my makeup you know, whatever. These are the best. They're very, very wet and they're heavy and thick and they, you can use just one wipe to get off 95% of your makeup. I mean, it's that good. So I'm hauling this because it doesn't really change my numbers. I didn't pay for it. And now my empties. Yeah, my empties. It's a big bucket. So let me get this out, spread it all out all over the place and kind of organize it a little bit. And then we'll count up the numbers and see what we got. It looks like we're organized now. It looks like we're going to go makeup, skin care, body care, hair care, shower. That's what it looks like. We're kind of in that general sort of order. So let's get started. First of all, there was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. This is kind of like a travel size. I got it last Christmas in a set. And, um, I really liked it. I really liked everything in the set. I, so far, have only tried one thing from Smashbox I didn't like. And I'll talk about that in another video. But, Smashbox is usually a smash hit. But um, um Yeah. Okay, this would cost $8.21. I finished this in my... Um, Nightmare Before Christmas Project Pan. I'll link that up here because there are some things that um, are from that pa Project Pan and from my Glow to the Ancient Gods Project Pan, which um, I was panning this. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Lip Lock 24-Hour Lipstick in the color queen. It started to smell really bad, but I used about half of it. I'm counting it as done because how many lipsticks have I tried, used part of, never used them again. So we're going to count this as a finished product. Besides, it was only $1 on Shop Miss A. I'll link Shop Miss A down in the description. And I will link that Project Pan video, Pan to the Ancient Gods, up here in the eye. Okay, next was, this is the Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. I love the idea of this. And the first one that I had, I loved it. This one kept breaking and breaking and breaking. I know Smashbox has, I think it's Smashbox has a, a product similar to this. You just, all you have to do is turn, it sharpens in the cap, 
and then it's there. You never have to sharpen it. You never have to twist it up. Nothing. That's all you do. And this one just kept breaking and breaking and breaking. It was terrible. And these are $20 each. I would just think that they would be better than my drugstore ones, which I'm using right now and I'm perfectly happy with. Okay, um, next, Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is $5.97. I have to say, the last non-Milani eyeshadow primer that I used was Jessie's Girl, and that was like, I don't know, four years ago? Yeah, so I don't know what there is other than this. This is just what I've always used. It's good. Right now I'm using um, like a concealer. I, I haven't noticed any difference between the Shop Miss A concealer and this, to tell you the truth. In fact, I think I kind of like the concealer better. Just saying. I don't have any intention of buying a new eyeshadow primer right now. I just don't seem to have a need for it. Next was the Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Extreme Volume Mascara. Now, okay, this is worth $11. I liked this. I mean, it wasn't like a favorite. It wasn't something I'd buy again. It has almost an hourglass brush on it. I like the brush. I like the product. What I didn't like about the product was when you pull it out, there's always a clump at the end that I had to dab off. Uh, the packaging is adorable. I had a reaction. I don't know what happened. Um, I was using an eyeliner, which I'm going to blame the reaction on the eyeliner, but as soon as my eyes started getting irritated, I quit using everything. When I, I did not go back to using the eyeliner. It just, it never happened. Um, the eyeliner had a serum in it to grow your lashes. I, I was not interested in that anymore after I had that reaction. But I had had this open for a while. And when I put this on after, after all the swelling had gone away, this burned my eyes. So I don't know if this was part of the reaction that I had, or if it was just totally the eyeliner, whatever. I was not going to use either product again, and I hadn't been using this for quite a while. So, there you go. Next, there was the um, AOA Studios Eye Makeup Remover Pads. There's 30 pads in here. What I do when I remove my makeup is I use this I use one of these pads, like I'll grab two pads and I'll, because they're very thin. I'll do one eye, go over, do the other eye. I kind of just hold it there so, you know, it kind of melts the makeup and then I wipe it. And these are only a dollar. I get them from Shop Miss A. They, I, I do that and then I go in and cleanse my face with the Physician's Formula Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Balm. That's my favorite way to remove my makeup. Next was a sad day. I've had this bottle for a really long time. It lasts a long time. Or maybe I just don't wash my brushes enough. This is the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo for a deep weekly cleanse. I have to admit, I don't exactly cleanse weekly. This is $4.99 and I will repurchase. This is my favorite item, my favorite product to clean my brushes. Next, masks. First of all, there was the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This little jar was $12.50. It was a very... Oh, you can't really see. There's nothing left. 
but it was a very brown natural looking it looked kind of gross but you know um it was okay i mean i really love the smell because it did smell like roses and i love the smell of roses so i really liked that aspect of it did it really do a lot for my face i don't know i uh, masking is like yeah. okay here we go Spa Scriptions Cucumber Hydrogel Under Eye Pads. These were $1 on the Shop Miss A site. And they were, I don't know. This is the Loon's Avocado Essence Mask. It was gooey. The paper was frail. It felt nice. It left soft skin. And I used the, the goo left inside the next day. You know, sometimes there's so much goo, you, you could just use it the next day. I did. Um, I liked it. Oh, this one. Esfolio Red Ginseng Essence Mask Sheet. It was okay. Um... I don't like the way it felt on my skin. It was oily, almost sticky, but it smelled bad. It just was a bad, I didn't like the smell at all. I, I would never use this again just because of the smell. Okay. This is the Lynn's Honey Essence Mask. All these masks, by the way, were from Shop Miss A. They were all a dollar. Okay. Um, said so felt so nice and absorbed into my skin quickly and I used the goo left in this the next day also. Next, um, ugh, I didn't like this one. This is Rich Radiance Skin Care Cocoa and Shea Butter Treatment Mask. I did not like this. It was oddly cut. It was hard to get. It just, it was, it was like, it was, everything was cut. I mean, it was all connected. It wasn't like it was separate pieces, but it was just cut so much that you had to smooth every single piece onto your face like a puzzle. I did not enjoy this. Next was the Esfolio Honey Essence Mask Sheet. And it sank into my skin quickly. That's all I can really say. I don't really... Anyways, they were all a dollar. The Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleep Mask. This was just a small size, like a like a sample size. This is worth $7.65. And this is the first Dr. Brandt product that I've ever liked. And I liked it a lot. I would buy one of these. They're, it's very soothing. It's like a gel texture, but it was heavy enough where it, it was, it was nice and cooling and it was a great overnight mask. I really liked it. And then there was the Caudalie Venosource Moisturizing Sorbet. This is worth $10. Obviously it's like a a sample it's not a lot I love this though it worked really nice it really agreed with my skin I've had a few samples of these and I've enjoyed all of them I really like totally skincare next was the Tarte mermaid skin hyaluronic h2o serum this was in my glow to the ancient gods project pan. I didn't really like it. I mean, it was okay, but it's finicky. Um, it didn't go with the moisturizer I was trying to pan at the same time. So yeah, I had issues with both of them and I would not repurchase this. That was worth $8.40. Next, 
the moisturizer I was using in that project pan. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. It's $70 and this lid does not stay for anything. But it had an airless pump which got a big got big points from me. But when you opened it up, the airless pump did it left a lot of product in there. A lot. Um I was not impressed with this. I was not $70 impressed with it. I would not buy it again. So far, I have not found anything from Juice Beauty that I'm impressed with. Just saying. Next, there was the... It was just a uh, triple size cotton balls from Clarice. It's a dollar for a bag of a hundred. Next, there was the Feel. This is the balanced, it's a moisturizing balancing cream. This was so thick and it says it moisturizes for 24 hours. It's so thick and it felt so nice and it smelled amazing. Oh, there's, I can't even get smell out of this anymore. <laughs> it's so empty, but oh, there's a little bit of product in the lid. Yay, a little bit of product. Oh, I loved it. It was great. I got that in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I really liked it. It was $28. Next, I had two Avon Footworks Maximum Strength Cracked Heel Cream. Two of them, so this is $15.99. Next, this is my favorite... Um, like it's a moisturizing creme and it's Nivea Soft. It, it Nivea Soft always comes in a jar for some reason. I don't know, but it's nice and fluffy, but thick and it smells like my childhood. Oh my God. It's so good. And it's funny too, because nobody in my family used that product, but it just takes me back to the seventies when things smelt fresh and clean or maybe just what I was around smell fresh and clean I don't know anyways this is the herbal essence oh that Nivea soft was five dollars and twelve cents and this herbal essence body envy volumizing hairspray is eight dollars and eighty six cents and you might be able to hear there's a little bit left in it but it's not spraying evenly and stuff, and it's old, and I don't use hairspray a lot, but I would say that it's probably, like, it, it just sounds like there's the tiniest bit in here. And like I said, it's not spraying evenly anymore. So when things don't work anymore, they're empty as far as I'm concerned. Okay, Hollywood Beauty Olive Creme. This is $4.00 or $5.42. I go through these like crazy. You know I do. And then there was six hair ties, so that's six cents. And then there's this. I've never been so happy to see something gone. This is the Dove Shower Gel and Pistachio Cream and Magnolia. You would think this would smell amazing. Pistachio and Magnolia. Oh my goodness. It smelled terrible. I don't know if it's just me or what. I very much dislike the smell of this. And this is $12.50. Just, it smells terrible. And it actually feels nice on your skin. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But it smelled terrible. Just boo. Okay, so the total for this empties is $243.67. Wow. $243.67. My previous balance was that I had used more than I had spent by $230. And thirty-six dollars and eighty-three cents. 
So right now, at this current time, I have used $480.50 more than I have spent. That's amazing. I am so happy about that. I did not realize that I could use that much more than I spent because I, I thought I, I really did at the beginning of the year, I thought it was going to be kind of even, maybe by the end of the year I had, would have pulled ahead by like a hundred or two hundred dollars. But right now, it is the first of November today. I do not see anything that's interesting me to buy. So I do not see where I will be buying anything other than maybe like, I was going to say maybe a foundation for a replacement or something, but no, no, I can't see where I would be buying anything unless something exciting, really super exciting happens. I won't be buying anything. I'm kind of on a temporary no buy to begin with because I have like a dentistry thing coming up that I need to pay for and that was kind of a surprise. I didn't know I was going to have to pay for that. I thought my insurance would cover everything. Thank you, insurance. But I'm not going to get on that rant again. If you want to see me rant about medical care, I'll link one of my videos up here that has a medical care rant. If you want to see me just rant about medical care without makeup in it, let me know. I'll rant away. But, um, yeah, I don't really see a purpose of ranting about something that we all know. So, I'm feeling really good about my spending habits right now. I'm feeling really good about my using right now. I mean, I, I did not realize that I would use so much makeup. Skincare, yeah. Body care, yeah. Hair care, yeah. Makeup, I... I'm using products. I'm so proud of myself. If you like my video, hit like. If you want to continue watching how many products uh, I use up, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!